Welcome to Math Cafe. Enjoy Math Sip by Sip. I hope you have seen the previous parts of the integral. In this particular video, we are going to see more typical questions based on substitution. First thing what we are going to see in this video, have you learned integral of tan x? Some of the most important trigonometry functions we haven't seen yet. We should know what is integral of tan x, integral of cortex, integral of cosec x and sec x. These four functions integral we have haven't seen so far. Let us see first integral of tan x. Remember we haven't written this formula before and we will try to prove or we will try to derive what could be the integral of tan x. And clearly we can't integrate this right away so we are going to use substitution method. Tan x can be written as sin x by cos x. As I told our basic technique of integral by substitution is one function and whose derivative must be there in the question. And if you observe here what is derivative of cos x? As you know it is minus sin x and we have a sin x on the numerator. You are correctly guessed going to do the substitution with cos x as a substitution. I am rewriting as this expression as I told 1 by cos x into sin x dx. Now my substitution is let t equal to cos x and tell me what is the derivative of cos x? Yes, you guessed it correctly minus sin x dx and as you see in here there is a negative difference. Don't worry, we know that now what to be done when there is a negative we can write this means negative dt equal to sin x dx. And as you remember now the technique the same thing this cos x is becoming t and the sin x dx is becoming what negative dt. So the integral will be changing as 1 by t negative dt. Let us integrate it. We got it as 1 by t into negative dt or you can write negative of 1 by t dt that is equal to negative log t plus c or this is negative log what is t we know that t is cos x or negative log cos x plus c or you can write this as negative you can write remember a log x is equal to we know that log x to the power a this you can written as log of cos x to the power negative 1 that means raised to minus 1 means 1 by so this will become 1 by cos x and 1 by cos x is what sec x this you can written as log sec x also the conclusion is integral of tan x is either you can say log sec x plus c or minus log cos x. Both are correct and you can use any one of them and try to visualize how the proof worked. You assumed tan x as sin x by cos x and you taken as cos x as a substitution. We can negative sin x dx and 1 by t integral you know very well it is log x. That is why we got the answer in that way. Think about what could be integral of cortex dx. Same way if you try you will get it as log sin x plus c or it is minus log cos x plus c. The same way we need to know what could be the integral of sec x dx and cosec x dx. Again to get the integral of sec x let us see how it works. Say i is equal to integral of sec x dx. There is only single term at the maximum you can write 1 by cos x. Now you have to think like this. What is derivative of sec x before integration? Sec x tan x right. Somewhere sec x and tan x are always related. What we can do is that here I will multiply and divide with sec x plus tan x on both the sides. I will be multiplying with sec x plus tan x on both the sides. Now see what is the advantage of doing this one. Think about this way. What is the derivative of sec x? Okay, I have a sec x tan x and what is derivative of tan x? You know that it is tan square x. So the derivative term will be sec x plus tan x and tan square x. And imagine if you take a tan x common, what is left? sec x plus tan x, right? Exactly as the numerator. I am taking substitution as let t equal to sec x plus tan x. dt equal to what? sec x tan x derivative sec x and derivative tan x is what? sec square x. This will become sec x times tan x plus sec x when I take the common. Exactly the same as the numerator, right? sec x into tan x plus dx is the numerator part. So numerator can be replaced by dt and the denominator we have already assumed that what? t sec x plus tan x will become our integral will become 1 by t dt. What is integral of 1 by t? We know that it is log t plus c. It is log of sec x plus tan x plus c. Finally, integral of sec x dx is equal to it is log of sec x plus tan x plus c. That's the formula. Again, if you want to confirm, you can differentiate and get it. Similarly, 
integral of cosec x will be log cosec x minus cot x. Here also there are alternative forms are there. Better don't go for many type, many different different formulae. This is enough. Integral sec x is equal to log sec x plus tan x and integral cosec x log cosec x minus cot x plus c. These are the key formulae we haven't seen so far and this four you have to memorize to do the upcoming questions. Let us see some simple examples. Suppose you want to integrate tan 3x dx. Remember integral tan x as you know it is log sec 3x and remember the coefficient of x must be always positive one it is not positive one you must divide it by 3 plus c all right that's our answer if you have a doubt please differentiate and confirm whether you are correct or not another example let us see the same way integral of sec ax dx where a is a constant so directly sec means log of sec ax plus tan ax coefficient of x is not a one so divide divided by a plus c. This is what the key idea I repeat in every question and don't think that why I repeat because coefficient of x you have to keep it positive one all the time and if it is anything else comes you have to divide. If you register this fact you have done most of the things. Let us see some important and typical questions. This question came in the examination many times. These questions have different methods. First I will show one method then I will show an alternative method whichever you like that you can use it. See sin x by sin x plus a. Sin x plus a means you know the formulas sin x cos a and cos x sin a there will be so many terms and everything will be on the denominator. So the denominator will become so huge and numerator is a single. Visualize like this way. All the terms are on the numerator and denominator is a single term. Can you simplify? Of course we can simplify right. If we have an x square plus x plus 1 divided by x this term you can easily simplify. This is a logic what we are going to use in this type of questions. Keep the denominator is a single expression as far as possible and make all the complicated terms on the numerator. How do it works? Say one method is that here I will take x plus a equal to this question is sin x by sin of x plus a dx. I will use substitution as let t equal to x plus a and dt will become what dx. Clearly here this x plus a will become t and dx will become what dt perfect. Now what I will do with x for that what will be x x will become t minus a. This is what I was describing in the beginning. Now you see you will understand what exactly I meant i equal to sin of what is x it is t minus a divided by sin t dt. Now you got what I was trying to say top heavy this you can easily expand it and this becomes sin t cos a minus cos t sin a whole divided by sin t dt. See the numerator is heavy and denominator is a single further simplify easily this expressions. This expression you can easily simplify sin t cos a divided by sin t make it two separate terms sin t cos a divided by sin t and I am splitting I will get cos t sin a divided by sin t dt sin t get cancelled integral of cos a plus cos t by sin t is cot t sin a dt listen you don't want to write this step if you can you can straight away from the first step you can come to this one it's up to you now again you can directly integrate from here for convenience to make it clear I am making one more step. Cos a is it a constant or a variable? The variable of integration is t clearly a is a constant push it out cos a into integral of 1 dt. Again here sin a is an another constant so into integral of cot t dt. Before integration always make it sure which is the variable please that is a very important step otherwise unnecessarily integral of cos a you will write sin a and it will become wrong. Cos a into integral of 1 is t because we are integrating with respect to t and this is sin a into cot t. We have seen just now integral cot t is equal to log sin t and then there is a plus c. Now replace all the variable to the original x variable. So we have cos a into what is t? t we have taken as x plus a it is x plus a plus sin a into log of sin x plus a 
a plus c. That is our final answer. Cos x plus a plus sin a into log of sin x plus a. Let us see the alternative method. Remember here I have taken sin x by sin x plus a and I took t equal to x plus a. If you don't like substitution, without substitution also you can do it. Just the same logic whatever I said I will apply again. The denominator is heavy now that I need to replace. What I will do is that see here you have an x plus a. What I have to try that to make it divide I need a sin x plus a or an x plus a angle term on the numerator as well. Let us rearrange the term like this way or make an adjustment. So here I will write sin of instead of x I will write whatever angle on the denominator write that first sin x plus a. But it is actually on a single x so I need to subtract divided by sin of x plus a. This is the second method. In alternative method what I done is that I have taken the same angle whichever on the denominator just brought it on the numerator and make the term correct by adding or subtracting whichever term is extra. Here there is an extra a so I am subtracting that a. a a get cancelled it is perfectly alright. Now this is very simple numerator should expand as sin x plus a as the first term and this as second term. That means we are going to expand with sin of a minus b. Here a is what? That x plus a and b is what? a. Open the bracket. So integral of sin of x plus a cos a minus cos of x plus a into sin a whole divided by what? Sin of x plus a into dx. Now separating into two sin and sin get cancelled so it will become integral cos a minus cos by sin is cot x plus a into sin a. Same as in the previous step that's why I am directly writing. You are splitting into two separate terms and again this cos a is a constant. This will become cos a into 1 dx minus sin a into integral of cot of x plus a dx and you will get the same as answer cos a into x minus sin a into this is log sin of x plus a and final answer. If you observe you can see there will be a slight difference in the terms possible depends upon the methods there will be slight differences in the answer. Actually what happened mean all the constants could be merged with integration constant c that is why you are seeing a little difference both are correct. Whichever method you prefer, in that way you can complete it. See, all these questions are of the same family. This is a way of learning integration and that will make you to remember very well the techniques. All these questions are of the same family, whether it is integral of sin x minus a by sin x minus b dx or sin x by sin x minus a, cos x by cos x minus a or cos x plus a by sin x plus b or cos x minus a by sin x minus b dx. All these questions are of the same time you can practice. I am showing one more question, the last one for you to get the idea. Integral of cos x minus a by sin of x minus b dx. Let us see the second method we will try here. Say this term is sin of x minus b. What I should write is this as cos of x minus b first. x minus b is the term which Whichever I require as per the denominator. So I made it that x minus b very well. It's well and good. I'm perfectly all right. Now see here there is an x I have already taken. There is a minus b that is not there in the question. And as per the question I need a minus a. So here I can write plus b minus a. Am I correct? Please cross check. Minus b and b get cancelled. Then x minus a perfectly all right. This is the second approach I am using. And if you are not interested in the second approach straight away you can use substitution. Let it t equal to x minus b dt equal to dx and that x will give you what t plus b and proceed you will get the answer. Both are correct whichever you like that you can use it. Now I am simplifying this. I will take the whole x minus b as the a and the whole b minus a. This is my a and this is my b cos of a plus b. You know the formula cos a plus b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Now here it will be the angle is x minus b so cos a cos b cos b minus a and then minus sin of x minus b into sin of b minus a whole divided by what sin of x minus b dx. Now just like the other one let us split integral of cos x minus b cos b minus a whole divided by sin of x minus b the first term minus 
साइन ऑफ एक्स माइनस बी साइन ऑफ बी माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाई साइन एक्स माइनस बी डी एक्स नाउ सी द टर्म्स यू हैव हियर हियर साइन एक्स माइनस बी एंड साइन एक्स माइनस बी गेट कैंसल एंड इफ यू ऑब्सर्व हियर सी यू कैन कैंसल एनी थिंग डोंट वरी वट इज कॉस्ट बाई साइन कॉस्ट बाई साइन इज वट कॉट एक्स माइनस बी इन डू कॉस बी माइनस ए हियर नथिंग विल गेट कैंसल दट इज वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्साम्पल हैव चूस एंड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन विल वर्क इन द सेम वे एस वी आर डूइंग डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट वन नाउ साइन ऑफ बी माइनस ए डी एक्स यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू कैंसल इफ इट इज साइन एंड कॉस कम्स But you can make it as a single function whose integral you are already known. We got it as integral cot x minus b cos b minus a minus sine b minus a dx. Now let us integrate. Again, before integrating, I am separating constant and the variable. Cos b minus a clearly the constant part into integral of cot x minus b dx minus. Sine of b minus a again a constant so integral one dx. This becomes cos b minus a into integral of cot x log sine of. What is the variable part x minus b the same thing. What is the coefficient of x here one so you don't want to divide with anything. Minus sine b minus a into x plus c. That's what our final answer. This will be a little more convenient way rather than the substitution method. Again, whichever method you prefer, you can use it always. Be mastered in that one. Remember, all these type of questions can be done. Now this a and b could be anything plus two plus three like any value can be given. All these type questions will. Have the same method and same technique. Let us see another important question: integral of one by one minus tan x dx. Very important. Many time the same question came in the examination. How do we start? When you see tan x, we know that our tendency we easily write sin x by cos x. Perfect starting. Now simplify this. If I am simplifying this, this will become what cos x. I am taking LCM. So this cos x goes on the top. Cos x whole divided by I am taking LCM cos x and cos x. Minus sin x dx. Here generally we'll get stuck and we'll think now what we will do. Here also we are going with a very similar approach and this is a common approach in integration. We always use denominator is cos x minus sin x. As I said, the denominator is having like more terms or denominator is heavy according to my terms and numerator is very light. Our approach is always make denominator smaller and numerator is heavy. How do we change it? Nothing. Just carry out the same term on the denominator on the numerator. So write the same term here, cos x minus sin x. Now see the technique. What we are going to do is that. See here you have a cos x is there, right? Cos x plus sin x. So this sin x and sin x get cancelled, and cos x plus cos x is two. So you should write half. So please don't write only sin x. If you write only sin x here, it will not work. You have to write the same denominator. On the numerator and the same terms to compensate on the other side. Cos x with the cos x and minus sin x means what? Plus sin x. Now just same like other one. Let us separate the terms. That is the main reason we are doing the adjustments on the numerator. Cos x minus sin x by cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x. dx separate the integrals now so this is half into integral 1 dx and this separating into two different terms so half into integral of cos x plus sin x whole divided by what cos x minus sin x dx i think now you must got the idea what to be done see the denominator again always check the denominator and whose derivative is what yes we have almost same term on the numerator so perfectly we are all right and we'll go with the substitution method and now see listen here for only for this term we are Are using substitution. Let t equal to cos x minus sin x, and dt will be equal to what? Minus sin x minus cos x into dx. Or you take out the minus everywhere, so negative dt equal to what? Sin x plus cos x into dx. The first term we can directly integrate. It is integral one dx, and now this became what? One by t dt. That is advantage of this method. Whenever you adjust the denominator, automatically everything will come in the same way. We are continuing with that one. So we got. Half into integral one dx plus half into integral of one by t dt. Integrating half x plus half into log t plus c. Half x replace the original variable. So log of integral of what we have taken cos x minus sin x plus c. That's our final answer. All these four questions are of the same family. Whenever you get these.
these terms, this is the method. Integral of 1 by 1 minus tan x, 1 by 1 plus tan x or 1 by 1 plus cot x or 1 by 1 minus cot x. The numerator could be a constant and denominator is followed by the same 1 minus tan x, 1 plus tan x, 1 minus cot x or 1 plus cot x. All the questions will be of the same method. Let us check one more question from the same type. That means let us see one more question from the same family of questions. Integral of 1 by 1 plus cot x. We will go with the same way. Integral of 1 by 1 plus cot x could be written as cos x by sin x dx. Take LCM just like the other one. This will become sin x plus cos x whole divided by sin x and that sin x I am writing on the numerator directly. Just like the other one again we have the our so called adjustment technique sin x plus cos x. Write sin x plus cos x first on the numerator sin x plus cos x. Now see here we have a sin x so write the same sin x first and cos x nowhere in the numerator so subtract that. Whatever you have the term write the same thing and whichever term is not on the numerator that you subtract. Now see if you compare cross check always whether the adjustments are correctly done or not cos x and cos x get cancelled but sin x plus sin x is what 2 sin x write a half outside into dx perfectly correct now we have done it just like other one now separate the integral sin x plus cos x whole divided by sin x plus cos x that the first term and the second term will be sin x minus cos x whole divided by what sin x plus cos x whole into dx simplify that half into 1 dx plus half into sin x minus cos x whole divided by sin x plus cos x. This is what I mean. If you can understand that, see sin x plus cos x whose derivative is what? Cos x minus sin x. There is only a minus difference. If you want, you can directly write. Let us see the substitution for this term. Let it t equal to sin x plus cos x. Derivative will be cos x minus sin x dx. Again, there is a negative difference. So, you can write negative dt equal to minus cos x plus sin x into dx. That is what is the numerator. Therefore, the integral will reduce as half into 1 dx plus half into 1 by t into negative dt. That is half x plus minus half log t. Finally, write the answer. That is half x minus half into log. What is t? We have taken as sin x plus cos x plus c. That is what our final answer. Half x minus half into log sin x plus cos x plus c. Let us see some more typical questions, especially board questions. See this one integral of tan x by sin x cos x dx. Very important. How do we start? When you have integral of root tan x by sin x cos x. Can I integrate this directly? No, right? See tan x we know, but unfortunately tan x comes under the root. The tan x comes under the root that clearly gives the idea what to be done. You can't integrate that. That force to choose a substitution for tan x. What is derivative of tan x? 6 square x. Again, our bad luck, there is no 6 square x on the numerator. This is what the third process. First of all, I know integral of tan x, but unfortunately tan x comes under the root, I can't. That says you must use substitution. What is derivative of tan x? 6 square x. Again, that also not in the question. So, what am I going to do? Simple thing, you multiply both sides with a 6 square x, sin x cos x and you multiply with the derivative of tan x on both the sides. You must think why do we multiply with a 6 square x because it is certain that you must use substitution for tan x that clearly says you need a 6 square x on the numerator that's the reason I wrote 6 square x on the numerator as well as the denominator. Now simplify this expression further without changing the numerator leave that as it is and see what will happen to the denominator. I'm just writing here for convenience sin x cos x into 6 square x means what 1 by cos square x right so 1 cos will get cancelled and what is sin by cos tan x. You can write everything in the main part also. I just wrote in the working column to make it easier. 6 square x I wrote 1 by cos square x. 1 cos I cancel. Sin by cos is tan x. Simplify further. This is root tan x by tan x. Simply consider this is something x. So x to the power half divided by x. Clearly half minus 1 is minus half. Simplify this expression as tan x to the power negative half 6 square x dx. And that clearly says you must use substitution because tan x derivative is already present in the question. A good starting and you gain the marks. We know that we are using substitution letter t equal to tan x and dt equal to what? 6 square x dx. Therefore, the question will shift it as t to the power minus half dt. Now, what is t to the power minus half? Again, integration stands for addition with a 1. So, minus
minus half plus 1 that is equal to what half so t raised to half divided by half plus c or it is 2 t raised to half means 2 root t plus c or finally this will become 2 times root tan x plus c that is what our answer again you can differentiate and confirm whether you are right or not this is also a brilliant question repeatedly asked for the board exam let us see another important question x plus 1 into x plus log x whole square by x dx how do we start again whenever you get an expression what you need to check is always that which term i can't integrate clearly log x you don't know the integral of log x that clearly suggests that expression must be your choice of substitution as i realize that part i write x plus log x whole square as my first term and all the leftover with the dx x plus 1 by x into dx these steps clearly will make problem solving easier let us go for substitution let t equal to x plus log x what is dt differentiating so 1 plus 1 by x dx see you don't have the same term on the question see this properly you can understand that it is the same as the question just write one more step taking an lcm so x plus 1 by x dx this is the advantage of writing the terms always separately with the dx see exactly the term here so this term could be replaced by dt and this term inside the bracket could be replaced by t therefore our integration will reduce as simple term integral t square dt ecpc we have integrated t cube by 3 2 plus 1 by 2 plus c change the t what is t x plus log x whole to the power 3 divided by 3 doubt about your answer differentiate and confirm you are absolutely right and you gain the marks this is another important question again board question x cube sine of tan inverse x to the power 4 by 1 plus x raised to it. oh god so many terms how do I integrate simple thing as I said in the beginning any trigonometry function Function, the variable part must be an x as long as this is not an x that clearly suggests that term must be your substitution and reconfirm when you think about tan inverse x raised to 4 a substitution what is its derivative what is the derivative 1 by 1 plus x raised to 4 whole square into 4 x cube please cross check do you have a such terms on the question or not exactly you have similar terms right rewrite the question as I am telling the first term whichever you are going to use as substitution so sine of tan inverse x raised to 4 all the leftover term with dx perfect as we decided already the substitution right let t equal to tan inverse x to the power 4 what is the derivative differentiating derivative tan inverse x 1 by x square but here x raised to 4 so whole square into derivative x to the power 4 is what 4 x cube dx now see we have 4 x cube dx divided by 1 plus x raised to 8 is it the same as our required term no right slight difference what we have an extra 4 how do we remove the 4 divide with 4 1 by 4 dt will be equal to x cube dx by 1 plus x raised to 8 which is same as the highlighted term now we'll go for the last step of integration okay we are replacing the term we have sine of instead of tan inverse x to the power 4 we've taken t and x cube by 1 plus x raised to 8 dx became 1 by 4 dt that is 1 by 4 in the integral of sine t that is minus cos t plus c minus 1 by 4 cos of replace the value of t tan inverse x to the power 4 plus c that is what our final answer still you have a doubt please differentiate and confirm whether you are correct or not minus 1 by 4 into minus sine of tan inverse x to the power 4 into 1 by 1 plus x raised to 8 into 4x cube here I am sharing some more results from this section please learn all the results thank you for watching math cafe hope you enjoy this session please like subscribe and share for more videos in the next video we will come up with integration by using trigonometric identities thank you